Hey everyone, Christopher Beast here, and today I'm going to be covering all the information that was covered by the devs in the final polls before the game's official release. So with no more delay, let's just get right into this. Starting off, the biggest news we have is really that the release date of Scorn has gotten changed. And, and this makes you immediately think it got pushed back further than a month, but no, it's, it's actually made quite earlier, a week earlier than its original release day, from October 21st to its new date of the 14th. This is the first time I've heard in quite a long time of a game getting its release date changed or come out earlier. So massive props to the dev team for this amazing accomplishment. Next up, the polls mentioned an event that happened earlier in the month, that being the release of the prologue of the game to all the Kickstarter backers. As I already covered in my first impressions video on the matter, it looks amazing and proves the devs are delivering on what they promised. Also, they did a Q&A on Reddit for any major questions the community may have, and if you're curious about the results of that, I will have it linked in the description below. Also, on the general notion of Q&A, they talked about some more questions that the community had and highlighted some of the more important ones. To begin with, there is a temporary way to disable motion blur for the prologue if you so desire, and they detail exactly how to do that in the blog. Um, but they stated that when the game comes full release, there will actually be a specific option button you can click to disable it if you so desire. Next up, there was a question regarding achievements, and the dev said the following. Yes, there will be achievements to complete, and those of you who like to be thorough, you'll need to play through multiple times in order to 100% the game. As for what these achievements are, you will have to wait and see. For the last question, they stated, while the game was not designed for the Steam Deck in mind, and compatibility tests have not been done on the Steam Deck, they have seen some users be able to successfully run Scorn on the Steam Deck. So, we're going to have to see when official release comes out, if it's possible to run on the Steam Deck. They concluded the polls with an update to the game's progress, stating that the team has officially wrapped up production, and really all they're working on at this moment is resolving some outstanding bugs that are going on with the game. And with that, we come to a close on the final polls. And we are now two weeks away from the game's full release. I, for one, am extremely excited, and I hope you guys are too. I can't wait to explore the world of Swarm with everyone, and until we all can, this has been Christopher Beast. Ciao.